Hello, everybody. Welcome inside the huddle here at the House of Blues. I'm your host, Guy Rawlings from CBS 11, co-hosting tonight, Gavin Escobar, tight end for the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys coming off a huge win in the battle in Seattle, 5-1 and one on the season. That's got to feel great. Yeah, it feels great to be 5-1. and one. Uh, We've had a lot of doubters out there, and it's uh, great to prove them wrong and just keep winning. He got his first touchdown of the season, folks. We'll talk about that coming up next on Inside the Huddle here at the House of Blues. Inside the Huddle, presented by Sports Media Incorporated. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues Monday nights in downtown Dallas. This week's host, tight end Gavin Escobar. Let's go, 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 go. go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Presented by Sports Media Incorporated. The Marketing Pros. And welcome back Inside the Huddle, the 23rd season of Inside the Huddle. We tape on Monday nights. The show airs the following Sunday at 8.30 a.m. on TXA 21. You know, the show's had some great hosts over the years. I'm talking about Daryl Johnston, Jason Garrett, Tony Romo, many more. This week we have... Gavin Escobar, tight end for the Dallas Cowboys, and riding shotgun safety Jeff Heath. We got the offense and defense representing today. Good stuff. Great, great win in Seattle. A lot of people doubted the Dallas Cowboys heading into the season. Now you're five and one. Is that energy something you ride into the season, like to to prove the doubters wrong? Uh, definitely. I think it's, uh, it's always better being the underdog, really, and uh, everyone's just doubting you going into the game and then just proving them wrong, you know, after we win. Especially going into Seattle, uh, no one really was choosing us to win that game, and, you know, we came away with the win. So it's really great. We just got to keep it rolling. And these are the defending Super Bowl champs, Jeff. As a defense, that must have been a great challenge for you guys. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we knew it was going to be a challenge. They have a, a great quarterback and um, a great running back. And then they have weapons at receiver at every spot. And, and uh, you know, we knew that they were going to try to run the ball. And, uh, you know, stopping that running back for a whole game is tough. And, um, you know, we were just excited to, you know, try to show what we could do on, on a national stage against the defending champs. Okay, of course, the Cowboys couldn't make it easy. You yeah. spot them 10 points first. Yeah. And then you come back and eventually win the game. You get your first touchdown of the season. But why do the Cowboys have to make it so hard to watch? You're, you get the fans on the edge of your seats every game. Yeah, um, you know, obviously that's not how we planned it out to be. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we want to make it interesting for the fans. So, no. But, uh, you know, that pump block, they timed it up perfectly. Uh, we, had an, um, we had a game plan for that look. And, uh, I mean, hats off to them. They, they made a good play. But, uh, you know, it shows a, a great team that can that you, you can overcome the 10-point deficit to start the game off and just come back and rally together and win the game. Now, Gavin, Tony Romo came to you twice in a row. The first time, it, was a, it didn't quite yeah. work out. <laughs> what happened on that play before we head to, before we talk about your touchdown? Um, you know, going into the game, we had uh, against Sherman, you know, the ball was going to be a little higher and... Uh, back t towards the back corner and against um, other corner is going to be more back shoulder high up there. But I'm expecting it to be a little higher and he goes more back shoulder. So that was almost, that one almost bad. I mean, if you saw the play, <laughs> it almost went the other way. But uh, luckily, we came back to me on the next play, which was awesome because I thought I'd just blown it, you know, the play before. Like, oh, man, I don't, this ruined an opportunity. But it came back to me on the next play, which was awesome. Now, everybody talks about playing at CenturyLink and saying that the stadium is so loud. And I was in the press box, and it was loud in there, but we were glassed in. I can't imagine how loud it actually was on the field to you guys. It almost looks like the, the stadium is built so the sound gets funneled back down towards the field. Yeah, definitely. Um, the way their stadium is built, it really does feel like, you know, every, everybody's voice is coming right on the field. And uh, it definitely sounds like that out there. I mean, you couldn't hear, couldn't hear a thing besides all the screams from the fans. And, you know, it makes it tough on the offense. I mean, you gotta, you got to watch the snap and then find your guy that you got to block. So it's definitely tough, but, uh, you know, we were able to overcome that. So we've got to talk about the, the trip back from Seattle. Um, I'm lucky enough to get to fly on the team plane 
And uh, I notice Orlando Scandrick has his cell phone hooked up wire to a wireless speaker. He's walking up and down the aisles with the hip hop music going on. And uh, guys are dancing in the aisles. What, what is that feeling like coming back from a great trip like that? Uh, I mean, you can't really describe that feeling. Um, after a win, you know, that's just the best feeling as a team. You know, everyone's just enjoying it. Uh, you're not really thinking about the bad plays you made or the things you could have done. You're just enjoying it as a team. And, uh, you know, that camaraderie is just something that it only really happens in football, and it's, it's real special. But I noticed in the locker room, though, before we left, guys were talking about, yeah, it's great to be 5-1, and one, but we still got a long way to go. We went in the game expecting to win. You know, a lot of people didn't think we were going to win, but, you know, all week we were expecting to win this game, and we were expecting to go in our game plan and, you know, <laughs> use our game plan and just keep pounding the ball and running the ball, and, and obviously we did. We come out, come out with a win. And that's exactly what they did, a big win in Seattle for the Dallas Cowboys, now 5-1 and one on the season. When we come back on Inside the Huddle, we'll get to know these guys a little bit off the football field, so stick around. Experience amazing beach escapes with Apple Vacations. Mexico, the Caribbean, and more. Now is the hottest time for travel, so reserve your place in the sun before all the best flights and hotels are gone. With Apple Vacations, you can catch some rays on the world's best beaches for far less than you think. Hurry, best hotels and dates are going fast. Not many investments offer the immediate value and enjoyment that you get from a successful home improvement project. Some projects are fine for DIY, but if you're looking to replace siding or windows on your home, call the professionals at Allied Siding and Windows. At Allied Siding and Windows, you can get brand name energy efficient replacement windows from Simonton and keep your house looking beautiful with James Hardy, Hardy Plank Siding. Call now for 100% financing for 12 months with no interest. 972-888-9988. Serving Texas for over 25 years. 972-888-9988. And welcome back inside the huddle. You know, we were talking during the break about where you guys are from. You were born in New York, but raised in California. You're from the middle of the country, like uh, Michigan? Yeah. What, what's life in North Central America like? Um, well, in Michigan, from uh, you know, May till July, it's awesome. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then it starts getting a little cold. And, uh, the winters are long and kind of boring unless you like, I mean, you find stuff to do, snowboard and ice fish, stuff like that. But uh, other than that, you know, the, the summers are awesome, though. I live, I grew up in Lake Orion, Michigan, so the whole city's kind of, it's around a lake, a really big lake. So just going out on the boat and doing all that, all that kind of stuff. You don't do a whole lot of snowboarding and ice fishing around here in Dallas, do you? No, nah, not too much. <laughs> Me and Gavin actually made a trip last year out to... Uh, Colorado in the off season went snowboarding. Nice. That was awesome. Yeah. How did that go? Did you a good snowboarder? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> it was my first time snowboarding. Okay. So uh, it wasn't the best decision, really. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I figured snow, it's not gonna hurt. But I was, uh, I was wrong. It, it does hurt falling ten times down the thing. But uh, I, I got a, I got a hold of it pretty quickly, and uh, they, they ta taught me how to do it. So it was fun. That's good stuff. Now, so what do you do? here in Dallas to react, to relax? Because, again, you grew up in a totally different type of environment. I don't know. We just find stuff that, you know, stuff, something to do outside. We like being outside. Uh, but also just something that's relaxing because, you know, we work pretty hard from, uh, whatever, May till hopefully February. So it's just, it's fun to relax. Like Jeff was saying, we find stuff to do, you know, whether it's shooting bow and arrows, doing eye fly. Uh, there's a lot of stuff around Dallas to do, so. Yeah, that high fly is good yeah. stuff, right? <laughs> One of our sponsors for the show is good stuff. Now, San Diego State, Saginaw Valley State. State. Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. If, you, uh, if your teams played in college, hmm. who would win? San Diego State. I mean, Jeff knows. I mean, San Diego State, man. <laughs> Saginaw's having a rough year this year. I heard they yeah, this won whole, See, this year is a little different. Uh, they're not... They're, they're not doing too hot this year, but uh, you know, when I was there, we were, we were better. But still, you know, the, the, low, the Division One, Division Two, you know, they got all the, the 85 full scholarships. We're working with like 30 scholarships. It's all split up. Uh, 
you know, they got, uh, I think they probably had more NFL players in the, we got a, we got a few, but yeah, it probably, I'd like to think that we give them a good fight, but you know, if me and Gavin went against each other, you might have like one catch, maybe two yards <laughs> yeah, or something right. like that, but you know, I don't, I don't know if the other positions, no, he, they'd probably, they'd it, probably beat us pretty good. It would have been fun though. It would have been fun yeah, to go back and really look fun. at. You came in undrafted. Mm -hmm. So it's a totally different path than Gavin's. Yeah. How much harder is it to get in and stay in the league? Um, you know, it, it is tough because, uh, you know, when you're drafted, especially high, like Gavin was, you, you kind of, they already have a plan for you. And you're going to get, you know, every chance, like every opportunity to prove to them that, you know, they got you for a reason. When you're undrafted, you kind of come in and they don't have a plan for you. Like they could, they could cut you that day and, it, you know, it wouldn't matter to them. So, um, you know, it's a lot of it is, you know, kind of luck. You have to fall into the right situation. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes that's, you know, injuries or, you know, some other a guy retires or a guy gets cut or whatever. But, um, you know, they always say for, if you're undrafted, uh, you got to be, you got to try to become best friends with the special teams coach. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was funny because, uh, you know, Gavin, he knew he was going to be on the team, you know, so he already had an apartment and already kind of was getting settled down and I was living in a hotel and, uh, you know, still like even the day after the last preseason game, I still, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. I had a good, I had a good feeling and the coaches, you know, that, they uh, made me pretty confident I was going to make the team, but I still just didn't know. And, you know, once they told me I made the team, I was still like, I was hesitant to tell people back home because I was like, someone's going to come up <laughs> like in a day or two, they're going to need someone else. So, uh, and then they were like, all right, you made the team. Now you got like four days to find a house or get a car, get furniture. Four so days? I, yeah. And then, and we had a game. So I was like, we were practicing all day, and I ended up living with Gavin for like two weeks on his uh, little blow-up mattress. <laughs> he was he was cooking me dinner and stuff every night. So, is uh, he a good cook? No, uh, <laughs> he still he still owes me for a few yeah, meals. I owe him. I owe him. He he never comes over to my house, so he did, he's too big time for my my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his own house and everything, so. That's good stuff. Fun stuff. Hey, the fun continues right here on Inside the Huddle when we come back here at the House of Blues. What if you could fly without a plane? What if you could fly without wings? What if you could fly without a parachute? Without strings attached? Or even a cape? What if is here? Every age, every ability. I fly indoor skydiving. Fun every time. Most doctors, lawyers, and insurance companies will tell you to get checked out by a healthcare professional immediately after an auto accident. That's why if you've been injured, the first call you need to make is to Accident and Injury Chiropractic. Their gentle, caring team of professionals will take care of you, your pain, and your injuries. They've been helping me, my friends, my family, and thousands more for 23 years. Call them now at 214-946-PAIN or 817-461-PAIN. Experience amazing beach escapes with Apple Vacations. Mexico, the Caribbean, and more. Now is the hottest time for travel, so reserve your place in the sun before all the best flights and hotels are gone. With Apple Vacations, you can catch some rays on the world's best beaches for far less than you think. Hurry, best hotels and dates are going fast. And welcome back inside the huddle. Now, before we move on, we got to give a birthday shout out to Haley, who is eight years old today. She's the daughter of one of our sponsors, Shelly from iFly. So happy birthday to you, Haley. Eight years old, that's good stuff. That's a good, great time in life. I wish I could go back to eight years old. No responsibilities, just chill it. Good times. 
Uh, also, enter if you dare into the Haunted House of Blues. Beginning October 15th, they'll feature oh, yeah. a walk-through haunted house brought to you by Dark Hour Haunted House of Plano. House of Blues Dallas is your one-stop haunt this Halloween season. And they will have scary, delicious food and drink specials and live entertainment every Friday and Saturday night. So you may want to check that out. Also, House of Blues Dallas has some hauntingly good shows coming up this month, just to name a few, Neo, October 20th, New Politics on October 25th, and on Halloween night, The Psychedelic Furs and Lemonheads. On Saturday, November 1st, In Infinite Journey will perform live in the Cambridge Room for the Dallas Observer's Day of the Dead celebration. Sounds kind of scary, but fun at the same time. All right, let's get back to these guys. Uh, you know, I know you guys, obviously, great football players on the NFL level. But you're also fans of other sports. I see you got the Detroit Red Wings cap on. Are you a big, uh, big hockey fan? Yeah, yeah, I love love my Red Wings. Uh, I'm kind of I'm warming up the Stars a little bit, you know, just being down here for a year. But I don't think they'll ever take the Wings' place in my heart. But uh, no, I like I like hockey and uh, you know, pretty much any sport. Did you play hockey growing up? Uh, I played roller hockey, and then uh, I kind of had to choose because. Um, I also played soccer, and soccer and ice hockey were kind of during the same season, so I had to choose. And uh, I was actually the only one. I have a lot of cousins, uh, like 13 guy cousins, all about my age, and I was the only one that didn't play hockey. And they played, you know, I was the only one that played football, and all 13 of them played hockey, so. Well, we're, we're glad you chose football. Yeah, me too. Now, as professional athletes, you're just naturally competitive. Are you two competitive with each other? In other arenas? Oh yeah, um, I think the first other sport we played was ping pong. <laughs> uh, yeah. Our buddy Cam, Cam Lawrence, got a ping pong table, and we played a bunch of ping pong. And then FIFA, FIFA 14. Oh. Currently, I'm the reigning champion. Um, we played a lot yeah. of 14, but uh, play a lot. FIFA 15 is out now, and uh, so FIFA 14 doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> uh, people kind of forget about that. Throw the records out. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, he's, he has FIFA 15, so he's been practicing, and I haven't gotten it, so. These are just excuses. Yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 been, he's been practicing a lot, because he knows once I get it, you know, we're going to start playing, and, uh, but yeah, FIFA, he doesn't, I keep trying to get him to play Madden, but he doesn't want to play that for some reason. <laughs> he just wants to play the sports that he's good at, you know, he's scared to, he's exactly. scared to branch who, who out a little lose, bit. you know? <laughs> but, I mean, you're a football player, why wouldn't you play Madden? I'm just not good at uh, defense in Madden. I don't know what yeah, it see? is. Uh, <laughs> my brother would just whoop me in Madden growing up, so I think that kind of put a downer on Madden for me. And, you know, I've always gravitated towards other games just because I hated losing so much. I hated playing my brother in Madden, so maybe it brings up bad memories <laughs> playing Madden. No, it's funny because you said you were a good soccer player. Yeah. Your girlfriend is a soccer player as well, right? Yeah, she played at San Diego State, and uh, she plays at Inwood. Uh, Pick up, or not pick up, but uh, indoor soccer. Uh, she has a bunch of different leagues, and I actually go to those games every Friday night. That's my thing. Uh, go watch Inwood uh, indoor soccer. Now, if they're playing one on one, who would win? Uh, uh, Sarah's feisty. Yeah. I don't know. She might. <laughs> she gets a little dirty. She'd probably slide tackle me and try to hurt me or something. She doesn't. She's really competitive. I've short time I've known her, so uh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared to play her one on one. I've actually uh, had the experience of playing her one-on-one, -on -one, and she'll never admit this, but I, I beat her once. Yeah. One time, uh, we were playing a little lacrosse goal, but, you know, she gets real competitive. It's almost like having, like, uh, like you're playing your brother. She's going to get physical and everything, and she doesn't like to lose either, so. Well, that's cool that you go and support her in her games. I'm sure she comes and support you at yours. Yeah, she's at almost all the games, besides the away games, obviously, but, yeah, it's nice to be able to make those games for her. That's good stuff. Well, that's all the time we have with Jeff Heath, uh, safety for the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you so much for joining us for uh, here me. on uh, Inside the Huddle at the House of Blues. When we come back, we will talk to one of our very important sponsors. So stick around, Inside the Huddle. Rooting for your favorite team. Enjoying your tailgate party. Perhaps just meeting new people. Having fun, even enjoying a dance or two before the game. Now these ladies are having a diva moment.
brought to you by D with the Key, a Dale Bravo company. Not many investments offer the immediate value and enjoyment that you get from a successful home improvement project. Some projects are fine for DIY, but if you're looking to replace siding or windows on your home, call the professionals at Allied Siding and Windows. At Allied Siding and Windows, you can get brand name energy efficient replacement windows from Simonton and keep your house looking beautiful with James Hardy, Hardy Plank Siding. Call now for 100% financing for 12 months with no interest. 972-888-9988. Serving Texas for over 25 years. 972-888-9988. What if you could fly without a plane? What if you could fly without wings? What if you could fly without a parachute? Without strings attached? Or even a cape? What if is here? Every age, every ability. I fly indoor skydiving, fun every time. Welcome back inside the huddle. You know, it's our sponsors that make this show go here at the House of Blues uh, every single week during the football season. And today we have Dr. Nakia Butler of the DFW Hearing Solutions. And thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. You know, people don't realize how important this is. What's the important thing that you'd like us to know about our hearing situation? Well, hearing loss is a common problem. It affects so many people. You know, don't wait, don't, don't ignore the problem. Take action and see an audiologist as soon as you can. Tell us a little bit about your group and why you got the association sure, together. Sure. Our organization is called DFW Hearing Solutions. We're a group of independent audiologists all located throughout the Dallas Metroplex. And our goal is to bring hearing loss awareness to DFW so people are more aware about this problem and they know what to do if they think themselves or a family member has a hearing problem. Uh, I mean, sometimes I wonder if, if I may have an issue. How common is hearing loss? Over 26 million Americans have a hearing loss, hmm. according to the National Institute of Health. So it's very likely that yourself or someone you know is dealing with some type of hearing trouble. Now, how about someone like Gavin, a professional football player, he gets hit in the head on occasion, yes. loud stadiums uh, every week. Is that an issue for him? Definitely, you just pointed out two big risks. So head injuries can definitely cause a hearing problem, but more commonly, loud noises can cause hearing loss. So um, for Gavin and other people that are in loud situations, we always recommend you use some type of hearing protection, some type of plugs to block out background noise, and it reduces the chance of you getting a hearing loss. Have you ever thought about something like that? Um, I haven't really, I haven't really thought about that as a consequence of playing football, but um, is there anything I guess you could do to prevent that? I know you said like hearing blo yeah. uh, blockers or like, yes. ear, what do you mean, like earplugs so, or something? Um, you can use over-the-counter earplugs that fit inside the ear, but the best level of protection would be uh, going to see an audiologist and get custom fitted for custom ear molds. They fit snug in your ear and they're guaranteed to block out that noise and keep your hearing level safe. Now, what are some of the signs of hearing loss that we have to be concerned about? Well, some of the common signs, people might say, um, you know, in a quiet room, I do perfectly fine, I can hear everything. But as soon as there's background noise around, like at a restaurant here, it's difficult to understand what people are saying. The people that they're with, they want to enjoy the conversation, and it's not clear. Uh, they might also complain that women and children seem to be mumbling. Hmm. Their voices are not clear. Um, when you're at home watching television, you think you have the television at a comfortable volume. A visitor comes in and they say, man, you have that television so loud. That's another common sign that you might be having a hearing loss. That's me. Is that you? I, I blare the TV, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Now, as far as options that are available, once you have been tested, yeah. Yeah, so once you've been tested, hearing technology has changed dramatically throughout the years. And it's not what people might expect from a hearing aid. So there are very advanced communication devices, and uh, they're so small and discreet that people may not even notice that you have them. So if you do need to have a hearing aid or you, sh you think you have a hearing problem, you should first see an audiologist to get tested. and 
Some hearing problems can be corrected with medication or surgery, but the most common type of hearing problem, the solution is in the form of a hearing aid. Mm -hmm. So there's some examples of hearing aids. There are daily wear devices. These are small devices that are very, very uh, discreet and not noticeable. Um, custom options that fit inside the ear, and even small behind the ear is, uh, devices. So the small custom op option that fits in the ear is called a Nano. And the one that goes to behind the ear is called a RIC. And those are our two most common types of hearing aids that we prescribe. Um, there's also an extended wear device where you put it in your ear. Well, an audiologist puts it in. It stays in for three months. And you go about your daily life. You shower with it, sleep with it. And it stays there for three months. Hmm. And um, you just get it replaced quarterly by the audiologist. All right, let's back it up a little bit. Sure. I have a concern uh -huh. that my hearing is not so great. What do I do now? First, you need to contact an audiologist to get a hearing test. Um, if you, they find out that you have a hearing loss, they're going to be the best professional to guide you to the right solution because there are many options out there today. The next thing is always use a reputable company for a hearing aid brand. Uh, Phonak is my personal favorite of uh, hearing aid brands. There's other major ones out there, but Phonak is really great. And so with those two combinations of the right product and the right professional, you can get the right solution that's right for you as an individual. All right, that's good stuff. Dr. Uh -huh. Butler, thank you so much for joining us from DFW Hearing, hearing Solutions. Solutions, one of our thank great you. sponsors here inside the huddle. Also, got to thank Gavin Escobar, our co-host today. Jeff Heath, safety for the Dallas Cowboys, for being on the show this week. Keep in mind, we would also remind you that uh, Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer of Sports Media really put this there, the, the, the faces behind the faces, they put this thing together. Reg Ellis and Play Now Enterprises, they're responsible for our camera guys and the equipment. Thank you so much to them. And a reminder, we are on TXA 21 at 8.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. We'll see you next week, and go Cowboys! Inside the Huddle has been presented by Sports Media Incorporated. Absolutely edible cakes and catering. Accident and injury chiropractic. Advanced Audio Video, Allied Siding and Windows, Apple Vacations, Armor Wealth Management, Carter Eye Center, Cowboy Fan Connection, DFW Hearing Solutions, D&G Credit, Dymaco, Diva Tequila, Garage Works, Gold Crusher, Holden New Homes, iFly, Michelle Lynn Interiors Group, Phonak, Tequila Panasco, Town Square Financial, Volt Security, and Windrush Homes. Promotional consideration provided by Video production of Inside the Huddle by Play Now Enterprises. Inside the Huddle is a Sports Media Incorporated production. Executive producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.